jump on and do a live. It's been so long since I've been online and I've done any videos or anything. So I'm just going to start filming a few more videos again. It's just been so busy. <laughs> Weddings are back, you know, with nails, facials, everything. It's just really, really busy at the moment. So I've not had a chance. So I thought I'll get a chance to do some wee videos and things like that again. So I just wanted to start off doing one. Um, somebody was asking me, so is that saying it's connected? I don't know if that's connected or not. Um, somebody, I was talking to somebody recently and they were talking about winged liner. Now, winged liner is very difficult on certain eye shapes, especially eye shape like mine. So I've got hooded eyes. The amount of tutorials and videos and things you see of people talking about winged liner on hooded eyes and they don't have hooded eyes. There are so many out there and it really frustrates me because I'm like, yeah, it's good, it's a good tutorial, it's good tips, but I, you don't have hooded eyes, so it's not helping me. So I thought I would do it because I do genuinely. So hooded eyes, in case you don't know, most people do know, but in case you don't know, I'll just show you a thing here. So it's basically, so when I look straight so see this, you know how you're like, when you get older as well, <laughs> great. As you get older, the kind of fold comes over and you can't see much of my actual lid. Um, if you can see them looking, you can't really see much of my actual, this bit here, my mobile lid, you just, you can see that fold. So if you were to do a nice liner there and then open my up, it would go funny. You wouldn't really see it. And as I say, loads of people do these videos and things and they show you all these, you know, a great way of doing it in hooded eyes and they don't have hooded eyes. So I do, <laughs> so I'm going to just, I'm only going to do one eye. I'll maybe just do this one. I'll do it. That's probably the easiest one to do in there. Um, just to show you kind of some wee tips and that. Just to start, it's for a start, you know, for people who are starting out for beginners. Um, I know a lot of people can do their own wing liner, no bother, but it's just a wee tip that I've picked up over the years and things like that. So what I use, to be, what I recommend using when you start trying is to actually use um, like a wee brush like this. So this is, just, I think I got this years ago, Spectrum. Is it Spectrum? Oh no, Certify. Um, I don't know if they're still going, it was a company years ago, they've done like wee glitters and things like that. So I was, sorry, I thought I wasn't connected there, there's something coming up there. And um, this is really good for that. So it's just that little, can you see that? And I've also got that My Kitco one, and that's just, as you can see, very, very fine. It's just got the wee kind of angle to it, and they're quite hard. You want them quite sort of dense. So I'm going to say shadow is the easiest thing to start with when you're doing it. So I'm just going to use a black shadow out of this. You can use dark brown if you want. I'm just going to use black just to see what it's like. So I'm just dipping it in that. So what you want to do is, obviously with... um. So I'll, I'll try and do it and show you here. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'll see how this goes. So you just want to look straight ahead. So I'm looking straight in there. And I'm going to start on the sort of middle of my eye. So I'm just going to go in with the... I've got shadow on that. And I'm just going to gently put that... You don't want the line too thick. So I've done that. It's probably a wee bit thicker, but it's actually okay. You don't want to go any thicker than that. So you want to keep it like that. And then get thinner as you go in the inner corner. This will depend on the shape of eye as well. So, um, if you've got like really, really more such hooded eyes in mind, you wouldn't want to go too far in. You just want to keep it in the outer edge. But I'm just going to show you for the sake of this. So, same brush, a bit of black shadow on it, and I'm just getting as close to my last line as possible. So I'm just doing it like that. Keep it thinner there, in the inner corner, and then I'm going to start doing the wings. So I'll put some more shadow on. So see, just black shadow, that's the easiest thing, I think, to start with rather than line, you know, like liquids and gels and things. If you're a beginner, start with shadow. And these little things are great. These are so handy. These little uh, really tiny sort of cotton bud things. <laughs> cotton buds. <laughs> They're really good as well. So what you can do is if you do, you don't smudge it out as well, but if you go too, too far in or smudge it out, just go over like that. It really is such a good wee thing. So I went in, I'm just going to smudge it out with this. We smudge. And that's it. So I've just taken it to the end there. I've not went right all the way. So now I'm going to do, this is where it gets fun. <laughs> this is where we're going to add up. So get your powder on. So what I'm going to do here is you want to follow your lower lash line. So you just want to follow that up. So as you can see, I would, really you'd want to lift that. And that's the kind of eye shape you're going to want. <laughs> is that, I don't have that. You'd want to lift that eye just to get it more, sort of more open. Um, but because I'm a bit older, I've got this hooded eye there. But if I was to lift my eye and then put that on, as soon as that was going back down, you're not going to see it. It's going to look funny. So you follow at the bottom. So and I'm looking straight ahead into your mirror. I'm following that up and I'm just keeping my eyes open and just doing a line like that. Just like that. So then what 
people tend to do is when you bring it around, so you close your eye and you try and do it like that. But that won't work with the hooded eyes, so you want to keep your eye open and do it. So I'm keeping my eye open and I'm just see the outer, I'm just joining that up and I'm bringing it in like that. So the screen's went off there. So I'm just doing that and I'm just joining it up. Just like that. So that's what we've got at the moment. But obviously you can see when I look down, it's kind of funny shape, but to be honest with my eye shape, that's what I have to have it. <laughs> I just have to have that. I couldn't fast start to fill that in now and do all that, I would lose it. So you want to keep that shape. Sorry, it keeps going off. So you want to keep that shape there. So even I know it looks a bit odd when your eyes are when you're looking down, but you're not looking down. <laughs> so so you've got that shape. So a bit big, but that's how you do it. And you join it up and then you just tidy up with these. So it's a wee bit thick there, so you just get, there's nothing on this uh, cotton bud and I'm just pulling that up and I'm just sharpening that up there, just like that. And then I'm just going to go at the top and sharpen it a little bit there just to get the point and just like that. And that's it. And it, it is, it's, it's, it's easy, it takes a lot of practicing, but when you've got hooded eyes, you have to do it like that. You can't do so. I'll show you. I'll show you what you do if you know this is how to make a mess of it. So that's it. So it looks okay. You've got the shape and things like that. It's okay. So if I was to then go join it up, so if I was to close my eye and then do this and join that up there, so it looks really good like that. But it's got you know you don't see it. It's gone when I've done that. It's just kind of lost that kind of nice shape that I had, the nice wee wing at the end. So I'll do it again, I'll just show you, I'm just going to fill it in a bit more. So obviously it looks nice to, you know, it looks quite a proper wing like that. You tidy it up a bit, but when I open my eyes it's got thicker there and it's all like that and you just lose it. So for hooded eyes, especially for really hooded eyes like mine, see like that, so if, if my eyes weren't hooded and they were more open like that, yeah, that looks, that's how you'd want your wing liner to look. But obviously mines aren't. So anybody who did eyes, do that trick. Don't worry, don't join it up, don't be doing that. Just do it and then keep your eye open, look straight ahead and join it like that. And then you will be left with a little dip there, but that makes sense. <laughs> Hope that made some kind of sense. I don't even know. I just thought I would do it. I'm going to actually do a video on it. But I thought I'd just come on here and do a quick live on it and just show you that. And see, look, just tidy it up. These things are so, so good. And you can just... Do that, you can stretch it out. As I say, I've obviously done that different shape just to show you how not to do it, but at the top on hooded eyes. But that's it. So I'm going to go and do some more videos. Um, I've got quite a few people who've been asking me for certain things, but winged liner was one of them. Um, what was the other one? I can't remember what it was now, but winged liner was one anyway. So I'm going to go off and do that. But um, any questions anybody just want to see, because it's just nice to do it start creating content again it's just been so crazy busy but it's nice to catch up with everyone see you again soon bye